This is the Q Sugar Weasel, and if you haven't yet, whatever you do, don't Google that. Your eyes can't unsee some things. If you already have, like me, you're already permanently scarred, and all we can do is move forward one day at a time. The other sugar weasel, and the only one we'll be talking about here, is the new AR pistol from the slightly twisted, somewhat demented, yet genius minds at Q. Basically, the sugar weasel is an AR with a few custom touches from Q. Most notably, it's crazy light like everything else with that giant Q on it. A huge thank you goes out to Shooting Surplus for sending the Sugar Weasel out to me for review. They have the absolute hottest gear. If you want it, they generally have it. It's also the most affordable firearm offered by Q by a pretty significant margin. So if you're a fan of Q and felt everything they made was slightly out of reach, now even the poors can own a gun with a giant effing Q on the side. Everyone wants to know the exact differences between the Honey Badger and the Sugar Weasel, so I'm going to lay them all out for you so that you can decide which one works best for you. First up, the receivers are very different, and this is actually one of the biggest differences and probably where Q gets to save the most money and pass those savings along to you, the consumer. The Honey Badger has a solid billet receiver that is machined to receive the channels for the Honey Badger stock. This process makes the Honey Badger upper and lower unique to any other AR on the market. The Sugar Weasel has a forged aluminum receiver that is pretty much standard to any AR except for the fact that the forward assist has been removed to save weight. Also of note, while both guns have a clear anodized finish to give it that unique gold color, the billet on the Honey Badger is very pure and has no imperfections. While there can be some minor impurities in the forged aluminum in the Sugar Weasel, sometimes giving the receiver slight streaks of gray. I actually think this looks really cool and kind of adds to the unique character of the Q guns. The receivers lead us to the next difference, the proprietary stock and buffer tube. The Honey Badger, of course, has the stock or brace that slides into the proprietary receivers and a shortened proprietary buffer tube and recoil system. The Sugar Weasel has a mil-spec buffer tube and an SB Tactical SBA3 brace. The buffer tube is clear anodized to match the rest of the gun and the SBA3 is a light gray color to look just like the Honey Badger. With the stocks or braces collapsed, the Honey Badger is shorter than the Sugar Weasel. However, if you wanted the ultimate in compactness for storage or transportation, the Sugar Weasel with a long tactical folder on the buffer tube would make it shorter folded than the Honey Badger. The next difference is the trigger. The Honey Badger currently ships with a two-stage Geisley trigger, while the Sugar Weasel has a mil-spec style trigger that is single stage. Don't feel like you're being shortchanged though. The Sugar Weasel's trigger is very smooth and very good, and surprisingly light at about three and a half to four pounds on my scale. I was worried the trigger in the Sugar Weasel was going to be bad, but it's actually very good. And if I end up keeping this gun, I'd leave the trigger alone. It's more than sufficient and far better than most of the competition out there. Next up, the Honey Badger has a Radiant charging handle and Radiant Ambi selectors. While the Sugar Weasel's controls are mil spec, but the charging handle is clear anodized to match the rest of the color scheme. That pretty much sums it up for the differences, but there are actually a lot of similarities too. They are both ridiculously light, the Sugar Weasel only weighing 4 pounds 11 ounces, making it only a few ounces heavier than a Honey Badger at 4 pounds 8 ounces. Both are extremely compact. The Sugar Weasel is a little over 2 inches longer collapsed than the Honey Badger, and both have those amazing good looks that all Q guns have. Everything north of the receivers is identical to the Honey Badger. You'll get the Q7 inch fast twist rate barrel, and if the guys who invented the round tell me that's what I should use, I'll go with that. But seriously, the 1 in 5 twist rate will allow full expansion of subsonic hunting rounds if you plan on doing more than just looking good at the range with your Sugar Weasel. 
you'll get the same handguard, adjustable gas block, and of course the cherry bomb muzzle brake that are directly from the Honey Badger, making the Sugar Weasel have all the same superior accuracy and performance characteristics of the Honey Badger. The Sugar Weasel will also suppress just as well as the Honey Badger. We had it suppressed like 90% of the review with the Q Thunder Chicken and had absolutely no issues or malfunctions in any way through the entire 1000 round review. We got a lot of questions comparing the Sugar Weasel to other 300 Blackout ARs, and here's how it breaks down for me. Compared to the Honey Badger, it falls short. In my opinion, the Honey Badger is the greatest 300 Blackout gun ever devised, and if you can afford one, that's the one you should get. The Sugar Weasel is meant to be a cheaper alternative to the Honey Badger, and it is an amazing alternative. I can easily say this, I have a Daniel Defense 300 Blackout SBR, and if given the choice, I would definitely take the Sugar Weasel over it. The Sugar Weasel captures so many great aspects of the Honey Badger from the weight to the size, the barrel, and even the awesome looks, that if you want something like this, the Sugar Weasel is a great choice, and I would take it over many other high-end 300 Blackout ARs. The Sugar Weasel is still designed by the guys that designed the 300 Blackout cartridge, so it brings to the shooter everything that they wanted to deliver from the cartridge and the specifically designed platform. Absolutely phenomenal subsonic performance that far outperforms any subgun for close quarters work, and by simply changing a magazine to supersonic rounds, you now have much greater effective range. In a very small, compact, and light package that still delivers an ergonomics, accuracy, and stunning good looks. I can't tell you how many times when I brought this to the range, people would say, oh, you have your honey badger, and I would have to correct them and try to explain the whole sugar weasel thing. But I say that to let you know that most people will think this is a honey badger. The Sugar Weasel is an absolutely top-notch 300 Blackout AR-15 if you're in the market for one and looking at brands like Daniel Defense, BCM, or most other direct impingement ARs. You need to have the Q Sugar Weasel on your list as well. Now forward assists are a big deal for you, it is important to keep in mind that the forward assist has been shaved off the Sugar Weasel to save weight. There also is no forward assist on the Honey Badger. This isn't a big deal to me, but if it is to you, you may want to look elsewhere. Trust me, the guys at Q won't lose any sleep over it. Still don't know why it's called Sugar Weasel, but I guess it beats being called the Yeet Cannon. Names aside, this is an awesome 300 Blackout AR. It suppresses well, it's light, compact, accurate, and reliable. I would definitely consider it a major contender to some of the big boys that have been on the market for a while. And for the guy that has always wanted a giant F and Q on the side of their gun, that is now more attainable than ever before. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And a huge thank you goes out to Shooting Surplus for letting me borrow the Sugar Weasel for the review. If you guys are looking for Q, Noveski, STI, really anything hot, they got it. And you can save a little bit of cash with the discount code AA5 and it helps the channel a little bit at the same time too. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. As always, we got some big reviews in the works that you won't want to miss. And hit the notification bell so YouTube will let you know when we have a new video up. If you want to know what we're reviewing way before it hits the YouTube channel, be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook. There you can see what guns we're reviewing in real time way before they hit the YouTube channel. If you want to help support Alabama Arsenal, the best possible way to do that is on Patreon. These videos are surprisingly expensive to make and every little bit helps a lot. Also I have to give a big shout out to Adam from Hootie Who. He came down to shoot with us for a day and we had a whole lot of fun. I think it rained that day more than we got to shoot guns, but it was a really good time. He's a good guy. You guys need to go over and check out his channel. He's doing some fun stuff over there. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.